what's up guys? Welcome back to Paul's Crazy Channel. Last night after the show, which by the way, I wanna say a huge shout out to everyone that came and showed us love at Tuner Evo. Uh, I appreciate you guys, everyone that bought merch, that took photos with me, Shirley, and the cars, I appreciate you guys so much. But on the way home from Tuner Evo last night, after the show was done, it was like around 10 o'clock, we packed everything up, loaded everything up. We were on our way home like around 11.30. Our tire basically not even tire our wheel exploded it started coming apart like look we're missing some hardware right here some more hardware down here there's a lot of broken hardware back here our wheel it literally it sounded like the air was like coming out and i knew something was gonna happen huge shout out to shirley for buying or getting me the tire pressure sensor system because this thing first of all i heard the the air leaking I freaking swung it to the side hella fast and then that started going off. So yeah, we almost died last night. So we're gonna take this wheel off right now. Um, take it back to, to get rebuilt. And then today's vlog is gonna be fully on the new car. <clears throat> it's gonna be on the new FRS 8.6. I don't know what you guys wanna call it, but that's what today's vlog is gonna be on. Everyone's been asking about this car, what we're gonna do with this car, what the plans are with this car, why I even bought this car. Well, we're gonna break it all down today. And we're gonna do some, I think the first important thing to do on any new car is the oil change. I, I feel like that's personally what I like to do on any car because you don't know how the previous owner took care of it. You don't know when they did the last oil change. So I always think the first thing you should do to any car that you buy is an oil change. This way you at least know that there's new oil filter in there, new oil and the car is running correctly. And we might even throw on Shirley's TEs on this since they are basically the same lug pattern. I wanna know what some bronze TEs would look like, which by the way, Ray Wheel stopped making these wheels. So Shirley has some very nice, expensive and no longer being produced wheels on her car. And we're gonna throw them on the FR just to see what it looks like. But that's what we have planned for today. I'm also getting sick, but let's go take this wheel off first. I don't know why that Z and those wheels just are nothing but problems, man. Like I'm tired of it. Like we finally got the car running literally two days ago. And now the car's going to be back down on this freaking floor for another two days. It sucks. About to reveal the grand finale. Oh. Wow, there's actually something stuck in there. I don't think that would have caused it, but who never, who knows? No, the noise is like way too loud. Oh, dude, this wheel's gonna be done too. You can start seeing this mark right here. Oh yeah. That means that I it, I drove it on like flatness, but this is what I want to show you guys. Look at the back of this wheel. All of these freaking, all of these broken pieces is what's made, basically making the face of the wheel come apart and which is what is allowing all of my air to be released so that is no good that needs to be changed and i don't know why this keeps happening but this is like the fifth time it happens to this wheel so super sus this is such a this is a good tire too like look at uh, hopefully we can still use this tire i hope we can there's a lot of tread on it huh? a lot of tread on it yeah i know like look at this we can literally flip this and we can still use it for like a bunch of miles. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see. This is probably gonna be the most ghetto thing we ever do, but since I have officially sold all of my wheels, I have no spare set of wheels. So we're just gonna throw this wheel on there with no tire. While we take my other wheel to get fixed. So if you see me or you see my car at my house, no, you didn't. Don't even look at it. Don't take photos of it. Just stay away from it. We'll see how it actually fits right now, but this is pretty ghetto. <laughs> me for having this shit. So that's that's how we're gonna leave the wheel in the car for now. God. <laughs> it's like I'm in LA right now. Yeah. I'm in the right now. I'm gonna pull my wheel. Model. Alrighty guys, we got the FRS up on the driveway. I want to say a huge shout out to the sponsors. K&N, always shooting us over anything that we need. 
the super performance oil filter and then Valvoline's restore and protect obviously I told you guys this engine's been rebuilt but still I I mean it has like 80,000 miles on it still want to make sure that this box engine is good even though I don't know I've heard 50 50 some people said these box engines are cool and that they don't really have issues but I've seen the amount of FRS's and 86's that are on Craigslist Facebook marketplace offer up with just blown engines so I'm gonna make sure that we take care of this engine and it maximizes its life also this is a great thing about these box engines look at where the oil filters at it's so simple to get to obviously we still have to get to the oil under here but that's just draining out the oil the oil filter and everything is right up here and it makes it super easy to just get to everything all right we officially got the oil out of there i don't know if you can tell it's not super dark so it looks like it might have been changed but yeah it still did need to be changed because it is a little bit on the darker side so let's go ahead and put in Valvoline's new restore and protect to make sure that this box engine is nice and good and then let's swap Shirley's wheels onto this FRS alrighty guys <laughs> I'm actually super excited <laughs> to see how this is gonna look and we get to take these ugly wheels off <laughs> these would be perfect drift spares though not even gonna lie Off. This is honestly hideous. We're gonna hit up R1 Concepts and get these bad boys changed. And now we get to see what we actually have under here. That's what I thought. I didn't think we had real coils. They're just some shocks. Looks like it's just probably has some lowering springs on them. So end up swapping these bad boys out too but at least we get to see for the first time what we kind of have under here suspension wise we're gonna upgrade all this don't worry boys we're gonna upgrade this whole thing but let's start with putting on the TEs on the FRS shows you I need new tires pretty soon too <laughs> something so even though the lug pattern is the same the threading the different. FRS has a different thread pitch over the Corolla so you can't actually use Corolla uh, lugs on an FRS because the thread pitch is different interesting I've never been a big race fan, but obviously all of my cars are hot boy as hell, but these look, look really good. Dude, this looks actually really good. Wow. I'm actually kind of jealous of Shirley right now. <laughs> I don't think I've ever hated on my girlfriend before until now. I kind of want a set of rays now. Sheesh, these look sick. <laughs> Tripping. Yeah, they are tripping. Shirley's wheels got me falling for them. Fuck! Shirley's wheels got me falling for them. <laughs> No. I got too excited. Oh, so cool. Bro, this fitment is actually like damn near perfect. Dude, that looks so sick. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm like low key in love right now. <laughs> I'm so in love right now. Dude, look at this. Do I look like I'm part of the initial D? 
Like no, you have to stand on top of the hood. <laughs> 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 That's all I got in me. Dude, this thing looks sick. <laughs> Alrighty guys, now that we have this car out, I know everyone's been asking, what are the plans with this car? Why did I get this car? What's going on with this car? Bro, are you a Toyota person now? The answers to those are really simple. Nissan gang, to the day I die, boys. Nissan, I'm just playing. Anyways, what we're gonna do with this car is, uh, I'm very thankful Amazon actually got us this car. Um, I've been working with Amazon for close to a year now and um, they, they really like it. They like what I've been doing and the stuff. So Amazon got me this car and we're gonna restore and rebuild this car, this entire car, using only parts found on Amazon. So literally only things that are found on Amazon. So I'm gonna get to scour all of Amazon and rebuild, restore, modify, and make this car look badass using Amazon parts and I'm really excited honestly because this is kind of a challenge this is this is a, this is a challenge honestly I've, I've done a, a $5,000 budget build with the RSX and I think we killed it I've done a budget paint job with make when I think we killed that um, we restored the 370 I think we killed that so now our next mission is a restore modify and rebuild this FRS using only Amazon parts and I'm excited and that is gonna be a bunch of different things from suspension parts to um, front bumper, fender, headlights, hoods, um, you, you name it. We're like, we're literally going through this whole car. Exhaust, all everything on this car. We're going through the whole car and we are going to basically modify this car using nothing but Amazon parts. And I think we're going to be able to do it. There's a lot of things on Amazon, um, you know, that are going to make this car look badass. And to be completely honest, I feel like Amazon is slept on a little bit. I've been building cars for a long time. Um, I remember when eBay was slept on. I remember when you would buy stuff from eBay and you're like, bro, you're buying stuff from eBay, bro. You're so cheap. Like, why are you buying stuff from eBay? And now eBay's on what? Adam LZ, TJ Hunt, Christina Roki. Um, all these people, all these influencers are literally on eBay now. And now you guys are all saying the same thing about Amazon, bro. You buy your stuff from Amazon, you're so cheap, you're so broke. Y'all sleeping on Amazon. Mark my words now, when you guys see this vlog 10 years from now, you're gonna be like, dude, people were really sleeping on Amazon. We're gonna make this car look super badass, but I just wanted to break it down to you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, what are we doing with this car? Well, now you guys know. We are rebuilding, restoring, modifying this car using nothing but Amazon parts, and I'm super excited. I don't know about wheels. Wheels are the one thing that I don't think Amazon sells a lot of so the wheels are the one thing that I probably won't cheap out on um, and not even that cheaping out on I but I just just certain things that I won't downgrade to and wheels are one of those um, you know I don't think you need super expensive wheels for a daily but this I kind of do want to take it to the track so I'm gonna probably get some like nice track wheels but I'm excited what do you guys think what do you think do you think it's gonna look cool yeah you think it's gonna look bad cool yeah <laughs> <laughs> you think we're gonna be able to do what Amazon wants us to do with parts from Amazon? Yeah. I think so too. I think a lot of people sleep on Amazon and I think I have never slept on Amazon and I'm excited to show you guys what Amazon has to offer. And this is like honestly the perfect build because I feel like a lot of people not only like this car but not everyone's balling, you know? Not everyone's a TJ Hunt, not everyone's a Randy from Eliminate, not everyone has money to spend. So we're gonna show you guys what Amazon is capable of doing for your guys' cars and I'm super excited. But look at these wheels, I'm, shit. Every time I look at this, I just keep looking at these wheels. I'm like, damn, I, I want them. <laughs> I want them. <laughs> she was like, you can have them. She's honestly already told me m multiple times if you if I wanted to just keep them for a while, I could. But nah, that, that car looks way too nice to make it look any, to make it downgrade, you know? Like the Corolla is such a badass car. We are not gonna downgrade that car, <laughs> but, now we have a little a little knowledge of what we're to and these are honestly 18 by nine and a half so corolla people i mean uh frs people scion people 18 by nine and a half i think are the perfect specs for for these cars i mean this fender's a little buckled but a little bit of baby camber up front you roll the fenders and i feel like the fitment would be perfect one of these days we'll do the rear too and see how that looks but this looks badass just like that we have shirley's wheel back on her car that makes me sad and now we got this <laughs> that makes me sad because now we got this this wheel back on the scion 
it doesn't look extremely bad but definitely looks 50 times worse than it did with that ray man because that wheel just made it look sexy damn but alrighty guys now you guys know kind of what the plan is with this car and at least we did an oil change today shout out to the sponsors slowly but surely we start working on this car next month i think is when we're going to start knocking this whole car out this whole project out um just going to plan on all the parts that i want everything that this car needs um and then from there just knock it out and just get to rolling on this car because i'm really excited i really want to be able to take this car out take it on long drives because like i told you guys right now um we do have the axles are shot on this car so that needs to be changed front bumpers damaged fenders damaged seat belts aren't working we need to change the driver's side airbags there's a lot of things that are wrong with this car but at least you guys know and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always i appreciate your sorry i have allergies i appreciate your positivity and good energy let me know what we should do to this car let me know about wheels i really i really want to know i don't know wheels are open i can get anything when it comes to wheels i appreciate you guys peace